But whether it's a night on the town or just relaxing with friends, there is no shortage of places to grab a drink in Raleigh. Yeah, a lot of fun stuff. CBS 17's Bill Young sat down with the publisher of Raleigh Magazine for their annual Best Bars issue. With this new issue of Raleigh Magazine, our media partners, it's a chance to learn all about some of the best bars in Raleigh and the surrounding areas. Publisher Gina Stevens joining me. This is a big issue for you guys, Gina. It is. Every February we celebrate the winners of the best bars. We ask our readers and followers to vote all during the fall and we announce the winners in the magazine. And this year is even more special because we did Bartender of the Year. And the neat thing about it is all the different categories, I mean, these are, there's something in there for everybody, oh, as yeah. trite as that sounds. Absolutely. If you're looking for best restaurant bar, I mean, you've got Vidrio, you've got Oro, you've got Stanberry, but if you're looking for rooftop bar, you've got the, you know, the Willard downtown or High Garden or Level 7 at Midtown. So it, 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 it vets them in each category. We've got even all the way to Dive Bar. But the big excitement and the finale was Bartender of the Year, which is Colby Cress. There were 16 nominees and people voted for months and he's the bartender at Dram and Draft downtown. Um, neat kid, he's worked all over town, been at Dram three years and He's pretty happy. He likes his trophy. It's like a Stanley Cup. It gets passed around from year to year. Yes, and, and also overall best bar. Yes, overall best bar, I like to say, is the bar you go to on your best day and your worst day. It's your bar. And so five-time winner was Dram and Draft. Um, Four-time winner is uh, Annie Betty's Gin Bar, which is one of my favorites, and Watson Ward, which is that underground speakeasy. So. There's something for everyone. Yes. Hey, let's talk about what's going on uh, downtown, Fayetteville Street. Yeah, we've been talking about for a while, you and I, about this resurgence or this move to try to bring our Main Street back to life. Well, the stakeholders have put together renderings and they have never been seen before by anyone and they're exclusive to us. But it's a look at what they hope they can do on Fayetteville Street. There's some great plans going in and, and we're not losing the character. Before anybody thinks, we're not tearing buildings down, we're not putting towers up. A lot of love for the Canes. Ah, uh, February's Canes month around here. Um, with the Stadium Series game, coming on the 18th. Um, there's a full week of activities, most of which are free for families from a couple of days before to a couple of days after. So we've got a pull out guide in this issue that you can pull it out. I say pull it out, get your autographs on it, save it as a keepsake. Um, but it's, it, it, and if you take off no other day in the month of February, take off the 17th, Kane's Fa Fan Fest downtown is gonna be a great day. I love it. Gina, yeah. where do we get the magazine? RaleighMag.com, $10, 10 issues, or you can pick it up around town. And you got a podcast. We do, Office Talk with Raleigh Magazine, and there's a podcast about Best Bars and about the Stadium Series, so check us out. Got you covered. Gina, always a pleasure. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Also in this month's issue is an interesting look at the safety of pedestrians at Raleigh and what the city is doing to help protect them.